Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Classes. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to modify the multi-leader style. So let's start with this tutorial. You can modify the multi-leader style by going to the multi-leader style manager. To go to multi-leader style manager, click on this annotation. Now here there is an option of multi-leader style. Click on this. Now click on modify. You will see this dialog box here. We will just enlarge it. Now whatever changes I am doing here, you will get the demo of this in this window. So we will start from this leader format. Now under this leader format, there is general under that type. Now in this type, there are options like straight, spline and none. Now we have learned how to use this, uh, how to draw this multi leader. In that we have learned how to draw the multi leader using straight line and spline. So if you don't know how to draw, then please refer to my previous videos. Now here if you choose straight, it will be a straight line. Then if you choose spline, it will be a spline. This multi leader line will be a spline. If you click on none, there won't be any line. We'll keep it straight. Now there's a color. You can change the color of this multi leader as you required or keep it by default there is a white now then there is a line type you have these different line types if you don't have your required lines here then click on others click on load and here you will find these different types of lines select anyone and say ok then next is line weight there are different line weights that you can choose. You can take the thicker one. I'll keep this by default. Next is arrowhead. Here you will find the different types of arrowhead. You can select any one from this. You can take this architectural tick. Then you can take the dot. You can take the required type of arrow. I'll take this close field. Now next is size of this arrowhead. Now here it is 4, you can increase it or you can decrease it. If I if you make it 8, it will the arrow size will increase. If you give 2, this arrow size will decrease. You can keep the desired size. Then next is leader structure. Now here you will get these constraints under that maximum leader points. Now your maximum leader points are 2 means when you take the leader command you'll have to specify the first point here at the tip of this arrowhead and second point here then you'll get this landing at the end of the second point here if you make this 3 if you make this leader points 3 then you will have to specify the first point here second point here and another point then after the third point you'll get the landing here I'll keep 2 now next is first segment angle. First segment angle is this is our first segment. This line is our first segment. The angle that it makes with the x axis is our first segment angle. And second segment angle is this line. This line is the second segment. If you specify any angle here, then it will be an angle that this line makes with the x-axis. Now how to give these angles to this both the segments that also we have discussed in our previous video that is multi-leader command video. So please refer to that. Next is landing setting. Here there is an option automatically include landing. If you click on this then at the last point of the leader you will get the landing automatically. Once you specify the last point of leader, you will get the landing. Now here there is a distance, set landing distance. Now here you have to specify the distance of this landing. Here it is 8. If I keep this 15, this landing distance will become 15. If you want less, then give 5. It will become shorter. 
then next is content content is text here is multi leader type you can choose this format of typing the text here here is m text block and none if you click on m text here the type of the or the format that you get to type the annotation will be m text if you click block it will be a block here we'll keep this m text now text option under that text style here there is a annotative and standard here if you go to this option if you click on this button you'll get here you'll get different types of fonts you can take it from here you'll get this font style select as you required and say set current and close this tab now next is text angle under this there are options always right reading as inserted keep horizontal here we have kept it horizontal this why whatever you type will be in a horizontal alignment next is text color you can change the color of the text from here then text height here you can specify the height of the text if you increase it the text will become larger if you decrease it it will become small next is always left justify means when you type it will start from your left side then next is here is frame text if you click on this you will get a frame around your text next is leader connection in this there are options horizontal attachment if you click on this your leader head will be horizontally attached to this annotation then if you click on vertical attachment it will connect it from the vertical side means from down we'll click this horizontal attachment then there's option left attachment here you'll get this options top of top line middle of top line bottom of top line etc now here it is middle of top line means this leader head is attached at the middle of this text text at the first line if you click on top of top line it will be connected at the top of this annotation if you click on this underline top line then it will become underline for this text you will keep middle of top line now then there is right attachment if you have if you have something in your right side then it will also come at the middle of top line or as you select the type of attachment next is landing gap now the distance of this landing gap is the distance between the end of this landing line and the annotation this distance is the landing gap here if i take 10 then this distance will increase if i give 0 then this line will directly attach to your annotation so here i'll keep 2 once you are done setting up your style you say okay then say set current and close so hope you all have understood how to use this multi leader style manager if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel to learn more about the autocad Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.